Company Say with a Tiny Hamster Paws Unboxing. Now, I haven't looked inside this box. I've literally just opened this bit. So if you remember, I said I was going to definitely try to get a Christmas box and I was going to try to get the Dulux box if she hasn't have sold out because I believe she said she's only making 50 Christmas boxes this year. I managed to get one and oh my god that's so cute. She always has the cutest packaging like the little red um, mailer bag and this is wrapped up and it's got the cutest bow on it. So where do I open? I think I just opened this. So I guess some people that like to buy these, maybe they put them under their tree for their hamsters. Maybe they uh, unbox them before Christmas or maybe they are just for Christmas. But of course, I'm going to open mine. Right, I'm having a bit of trouble. So I'm going to open this and now I'm going to get back to you guys. And we're back. That was very, very well tied so points for that i've got some red ribbon i could put it on my christmas tree maybe um i've also started to well i cut the tape on the back <laughs> i hadn't realized there was also tape on the side but there we go so like i said i did get the dulux box so this is slightly more expensive than the usual boxes i get but they have more in them as well so this is of course the december box which is christmas themed obviously it's december <laughs> so i'm gonna do what i usually do and oh, wow it's, it's a very tight box this month <clears throat> so this is what we see inside red paper with the adorable sticker on it so let's give that a little uh, a little snip. So, <clears throat> are you ready, guys? We have. Hopefully, this is on camera. I don't have Lewis with me today to tell me whether or not I'm in frame. But I can see just about there that this is the box and. It already looks so festive. I can see. I'm gonna go and balance it here. Right. So, first item I want to go with is something I've already got. Um, but I know my hamsters love these, and these are coconut snowballs, which, if I remember, are dried coconut cornmeal straw alfalfa dried carrot and starch so basically all those ingredients squished together rolled into a ball and rolled in coconut now my hamsters like these but i will say they don't eat all of it they eat the coconut and then nibble around it but i'm still happy with that because it gives them a bit of enrichment and it's making them work for their treats as well so I actually wanted to get another pack of these because I'm sure their pets at home would stop selling these after Christmas. So I believe that's where she got them from. But coconut snowballs, they are adorable. I have some, oh, I don't have this, but I know my uh, the boys will love this. And this would have been one of Chicken Nuggets' favourite things as well. But if you watch my feel, uh, videos, you know she's no longer with us but you would know she would have loved this this is cheesy cheesy popcorn which maize rapeseed oil and cheese powder so yeah just literally cheese flavor popcorn that even sounds quite nice to me can i eat it i guess i shouldn't eat that though really oh my god we've got such a cute item I'm so pleased I've got a, got one, but I'll keep that to the end. Oh, that's so cute. We have a, oh, we have a Christmas garland. This is a fir cone garland. It has some, like, corn husks, some 
some wood, some, oh, what are these called, pine cones, and then some, like, smaller wood pieces. But that's what that looks like. Very, very cute indeed. And do these move? Can you, like, get rid of that middle bit? Yes. These all move throughout as well, so... It doesn't all have to be bunched at the top. So that is a cute Christmas necklace, but <laughs> a hamster garland. That's super cute. And I see one of these um, online. I can't remember where I see it online and I really, really wanted it. But I never bought it. <laughs> um... And it's just this hanging, um, it's called a, I think guinea pigs, other rodents, small pets. It doesn't say what it is, but it's a, it's got a hang on it, so you can hang it. Or I guess you could just kind of plant it in their cage. But it's this small, well it's not small actually, it's the biggest size of my hand, it's quite big. Um, little like tree kind of shape with a love heart on it. So that will be super cute in their cage. Um, <gasps> I have another super cute one. And I actually really wanted one of these. But I held off ordering it on the hope it would be in this box. It's the... Slightly dusty from... I'm guessing the wooden garland. It's the Furnishables. This is their cute Christmas collection. This is the actual one that I wanted. They have a few different Christmas collections out. But this is the actual one I wanted. And I held off buying it with a hope it would be in this box. So I am so, so pleased I actually got that. Because i kind of thought i should order it so i didn't miss out and not get it in time for christmas but i got it so i can have cute little uh cute little decorations on my cage so i've already filmed my uh filmed a christmas decoration haul like uh what my room looks like so this won't unfortunately be in the video but when you're watching that now you can just think that my cages are so cutely decorated um now we have that's the empty box but we do have this this is what i was excited about because i wanted another snuggle sack um i'm obviously i don't have a serum anymore so i actually left the um the halloween one in my boy's cage well, one of my boys' cage, I left it in Pinky, no, Brain's cage. I left it in Brain's cage and he loved it. So this is just a super cute Santa, Rudolph and Snowman one, which I'll also leave in his cage. I just sort of, just leave it like that and I just, tweets, I just put it up on there, on the level or something. And he'll go in there, if he wants bedding, he'll take bedding, if not... I guess not so this is a i think this is a human candy cane it smells kind of minty so a, a little little candy cane as a treat and oh i'll definitely have to eat this for the hamsters one of my favorite christmas treats it's a maltese reindeers i love these maltese reindeers and they also come out at easter with a bunny edition so they're actually one of my favourites. I'll have to hide that from Lewis. Um, what else do I have in here? Oh, this is so cute. I have another. These are made by Malika. Um, and I've got two of her. Three of her other ones. Two of her other ones. And it's just this little bead shoe. Um, oh no, it's two of them. It's not one. 
had two little baby ones. I thought they were stuck together and it was going to be a big one. So we've got one in gold. It's obviously got little uh, gold beads in there. And then we got one that's got red, white, red and white and green in there. So that's this one. And then obviously they look super, super cute. I say super cute a lot. It's not, nothing I normally say during day-to-day -day life, but with these boxes, it can't be helped. So I'm going to put those back in their, in their packaging. And then we've got some snow print paw cookies. Now, this is something I wanted as well, but I held off ordering because I had a feeling they would be in this box. Now, something I've seen on the back that I said would be an improvement on her packaging in my last video uh she's actually gone and done and that was just to put a tiny tiny label somewhere on the packaging just to say what flavor it is because i have a collection of these now and i'm always forgetting what flavors it or i'm writing on them or i'm putting them into tubs with a label on it and to be honest these are perfect bags for storage because they are so so good because they've actually got like a little resealable thing there so if my camera will focus on this which i don't think it wants to you can kind of see it was going in and out of focus this says these are called the tiny hamster paws homemade treats Coconut, sn sn oh, I was about to say snow print. Snow, now my camera's gone fuzzy on my face. Behave. Uh, coconut snow print, snow, bleh. I have no words. I need my words. I need to swallow a dictionary. Coconut snow paw print cookies. So that's them. It actually has a use by date. I never thought of that. But these are good till next year, so... <laughs> I'm sure my hamsters will uh, munch those by next year. And last thing we have inside the snuggle sack is um, yeah, more care instructions. So we've got more care instructions there. But then this, which I can't wait to use because it's adorable and it's perfect size for my robos. It's just a simple, plain white um star shaped bowl wooden marks england that's adorable how cute is that and that's a perfect size for a water dish if you give your hamsters water dishes i personally don't or that's a perfect size for maybe treats or they're just their general food i know my hamsters have treat bowls as well they don't have their regular treats and they just get sprinkled but they have, like the other day, I gave them some boiled eggs, some chicken and some cheese. And I usually put it in a little bowl and then I can take that out the next day so it doesn't go go funny. So I'm going to either use this as a treat bowl with some veggies or I'm going to use it as their full-time bowl. So I have all of these products, which I'm going to try and hold up. Let's see if I can do it. How clever can I get? Hang on. As I stand that in there, and I stand that in there, and I hold these up. There we go, guys. That is the box. We have one, two, three. Ow! four five six i dropped one seven oh and don't forget seven eight nine treats for the hamsters and two for me although i might let my partner have the candy cane he loves those so i got nine treats for the hamsters um Again, 
these are such good quality items i've never ever had a problem with with uh, her products not being of the best quality so her products are always amazing and all of that guys for i think i paid 30 pounds or around 30 pounds for all of this that's crazy insane that is so good and obviously you're getting um you're getting enrichment for your animals you're getting um to choose for them you're getting a snuggle snuggle sack i think these are called um or a hide or whatever you want to call this snuggle sack hide for your animal you're getting even getting like cage stickers and food for your hamsters you know you can't you can't beat the value in these boxes um and of course these are made in i would say in-house she she hand makes all of these like the cookies and that and these little wooden chews so they are handmade products these are handmade by a small company and this is handmade by a small company as well so the quality is always amazing so of course this was the Dulux Christmas box it is no longer available for purchase it is gone but like I always say guys if you have a hamster then I would highly highly recommend checking out her page getting a box and yeah oh one more thing she has or is going to but don't quote me on this because i don't know if it's something that's happened or is happening she is going to start selling rab rabbit products ramp stuff i started saying rabbit finished saying hamster ramp stuff but <laughs> sorry guys um yeah she is going to start selling i believe rabbit products and possibly guinea pig obviously don't quote me 100 percent on that because i'm not 100 percent sure but I do believe I read um, on her Instagram that she's going to start stocking hamster product, no, rabbit products along with hamster products. So I know on a YouTube video she's already got bowls and things like that. So if you do have a hamster as well, definitely, definitely check out her website, which is tinyhamsterpaws.co.uk, I believe. Or check her out on Instagram. That will have her um, YouTube page on. Then you'll be able to see some of her vlogs or her videos. So definitely go and check her out. Again, as of in October, if you are looking for a snuggle sack, check out Dainty Paws D A I N T Y Paws UK on Facebook or Instagram because these snuggle sacks are fantastic and if you want any kind of cage stickers check out furnishables on instagram and i'm not 100 sure on their no i'm not 100 percent sure on their um actual shop page but yeah guys if you are in the market for hamster products and you never know what to buy or some of them in the shop are just too expensive check out tiny hamster paws and <clears throat> possibly get a box because these are always great value and always fun so i now have a couple of cage decorations and a couple of treats so i will catch you in the next vlog bye guys